Okay, this next feature I'll show you are for message templates, which are a terrific time saver if you're finding yourself frequently sending some of the same outgoing messages. Um, you can access that in the left-hand navigation right here under Templates, where we offer a couple of different types of templates that you can send. Uh, and I'll start with the SMS template. I'll add one using this corner button and give my template a title. So a frequently used one around here are Facebook ad response. Hey, and then I will insert their first name using this keyword uh, down here. All of these keywords act much like um, uh, merge fields in a lot of other programs where it will substitute in for this keyword the contacts first name so if this is being sent to someone who's in your contact lists um, then it will look at the different fields you have and you could use first name last name company name if any of this data exists on your contact uh, you can use it here including your own custom fields if you've done like I have uh, favorite color as you saw in a previous video but uh, hey first name this whoops Dave recently filled out my Facebook ad and I wanted to reach out and see when a good time to talk might be. Okay, I'm actually going to copy this and I would create that. So now that appears in our templates for SMS and I can use this template over and over again now. And I'll show you that at the end of this video. Similarly, for audio, if you wanted to record some um, uh, some audio and use it in your outgoing calls. You can do that here. Hey there, this is Dave and uh, you recently filled out my Facebook ad and so I was just calling to see when a good time to speak might be. And you can play it back. Hey there, this is Dave and uh, you recently filled out Likewise, give this one a title. Facebook ad response and a description, both of these just for your own use. Um, I don't know. Fills out my Facebook ad. And now it will appear in your list where you can edit it, duplicate it, etc. The third type of template I'll show you now are for email templates. If you're frequently sending out the same standard email to people, uh, again, a title for your own use. And then a subject to go with it. And then you can uh, continue to use those keywords. Oops, F name. And I will paste my previously typed info there. But uh, here are all of your different keywords um, available to you. So if I wanted to say, uh, um, hey, F name is Dave. You recently filled out my Facebook ad and I wanted to reach out and see when a good time to talk might be create and add that and it will appear in the list. So now we've got an email template, an audio recording, an SMS template that can be reused over and over again. Now if we went over to our lists, our training demo list, I'll show you how you can now send some of these. So you can select any number of your contacts, all of them, and in the action menu when I choose call for instance, you can use uploaded audio. Um, oh, sorry, select from recordings. Uh, upload audio is if you want to grab a file off of your local desktop. Select from recordings is if you want to grab the template that we just created called Facebook Ad Response. 
you're going to select the outgoing phone line that you're going to use to call with, which we've got the training demo line. You can either send it out immediately or you can schedule it for a later date. Um, if I were to hit now, you then finally choose that I have permission to contact these people for a compliance um, reason and hit call. And what it would do is it would go down the list of contacts that you've selected. When they pick up their phone, they would then hear the recording that you just heard me record. Uh, likewise, you could go down here and leave them an SMS message from an existing template, or you know you could type something here on the fly. But uh, we're saving ourselves some time, so we're going to use this pre-typed template, and it will automatically fill in for me. Hit send, and it's going to send out to all those people. You, similarly, you can schedule it and um, use that feature. And then finally, if you want to send an email to all these contacts, um, instead of having to retype your subject and your beep, your body each time, if you've saved it as a template, we can pre-populate it uh, and even make a quick edit to this. Um, if I didn't want to identify myself maybe in the email, I can either send it right now, schedule it, again, compliance, you want to say that you've got the permission, and it would send out that email for you. Um, if you are looking at an individual contact, and not a, a you know a whole selection of people. You can see down here the the existing history that I've got correspondence with with Mark. Uh, down at the bottom there are three tabs for sending Mark and only Mark an SMS. Uh, I can either type something on the fly here, or use my Facebook ad response template, and there we'll pre-fill it in for us. I can send that to Mark. I don't mind sending that to him now because that's my account actually. Similarly, I could send a templated email to Mark from one that I've already created. Send that to him right now. And now you can see up in the um, uh, the history that I've got with Mark that um, I've just sent him this voice message. Hey Mark, this is Dave. You recently filled out my Facebook ad. Now you'll notice here that it has substituted his first name, Mark, uh, for that um, uh merge field, those keywords that I used when building the template. And so uh, Mark is now gotten this quick message and had I selected from a whole bunch of contacts and sent it out, you could save yourself you know, minute, many minutes potentially. Alright, so that's how our message templates work and uh, catch you next video.